It's mating season in Robotville, USA, and the robots are in heat. The robots that have reached their appropriate capability maturity level will seek a mate to create a new generation of robot children to replenish their ranks in their unending war against humankind. Our story focuses on a young bot named Maria, who is struck with another young bot named Blake. Maria wants Blake for her mate, but robot mating is a nuanced and intricate process, and to make matters worse, Blake is in high demand as captain of the Prime Factoring Team and Quantum Truther Society. Her chances of success are slim. But if she really wants to invalidate Blake's cash, she will have to be diligent. She will have to be methodical. Is she ready to begin? In order to attract the desired mate, you must identify the most desirable version of yourself. Maria, as a Quanstar P9000C, has many configurable settings. In order to identify a high-quality configuration, she'll use a series of A-B tests. Each component of her configuration has two possible settings. She'll try out the settings for each component on randomly selected robots with a similar make and model as Blake, and record their reactions as positive or negative. Once there is sufficient evidence to decide which setting of the component is best, we'll set it and move on to the next component until she's completely customized. Her first configurable component is hand type. She has two options, a two-finger pencil claw or pangolin claws. To compare them, she'll randomly select one or the other and greet a candidate robot and gauge their reaction. Excellent! She can now tally the results. She tested out pincers against 46 robots, of which 10 reacted positively for a sample proportion of 10 in 46, or about 0.22 and she tested out pangolin claws against 55 robots, of which 30 reacted positively for a sample proportion of 30 and 55, or about 0.55. She can compute a z-statistic as follows. If there was no difference in preferences, she would expect this statistic to follow a standard normal distribution, which looks like this. And her statistic landed way out here. So she concludes that pangolin claws are preferable, so she'll be wearing those from now on. Now, she'll configure the rest of her components the same way. Eyes, googly or non-googly. Mouth, constantly excreting lip colouring or natural. Shoulders, parroted or non-parroted. Chassis, standard or tick-tock from Return to Oz. Legs biped or old-timey pirate ship wheel. She is now fully optimized and ready to go. She can now go and see Blake. She mustn't be shy. forward. Well, I'm proud of you for trying. Just kidding. 